This is the new DJI Mini 4 Pro. And this is my recently purchased DJI Air 3. The Air 3 came with DJI's new RC2 remote that has got the screen and the two antennas out the back. And if you already own the Air 3 with the RC2 remote, you can update things so the same remote will now allow you to control the Mini 4 Pro as well. And it means if like me, that you had the Air 3 in the first place and you also want the Mini 4 Pro, you can opt for the cheapest stock package that comes with the uh, N2 remote and simply link the Mini 4 with your existing RC2 remote. And I'm about to show you just how easy that is. So first off, make sure the RC2 remote firmware is up to date. Switch it on by itself and make sure you've got the Wi-Fi switched on and it can connect to the internet. Tap on profile, then scroll down and check for firmware. Let it search and update and you can see here the new firmware states it also adds support for the DJI Mini 4 Pro. Now it's going to take about five to ten minutes to download depending on your network speed and it will reboot and then crucially it was going to give you this blank DJI screen for about three or four minutes. Now I thought it was bricking itself but it hadn't. Don't turn it off, just wait because that really could mess things up. Eventually it'll do its thing and it'll reboot and you'll get the normal home screen back again. And then if you tap on the connection guide, you'll now be able to scroll across for the Mini 4 Pro. So that's the remote updated. Now, like I said, if like me, you bought the Mini 4 Pro with the N2 remote, because you went for the cheapest option and you didn't want to double up, you're gonna to need to link the Mini 4 Pro to this different remote. And again, really, really easy. So turn the remote on, tap connection guide, scroll across, and now you're gonna see the Mini 4 Pro picture there. Now you're probably last controlling the Air 3 with this remote, so you're gonna see when you tap the Mini 4 Pro, you'll get a little pop-up telling you that the firmware is inconsistent and it needs to switch. Tap OK and it literally takes a few seconds and now it is ready to search for the Mini 4 Pro. Turn your Mini 4 on by quick and then a long press and then you'll see all the lights stay on. Now, even though the remote is searching for the Mini 4 Pro, because the Mini 4 Pro has never been paired with this before, it's not going to find it. So, after about half a minute, you'll get this blue little pop-up link asking if you're having connection problems. So, tap the little blue link, then it offers you to pair. So, what you've got to do is tap pair. That's gone into pairing mode. Now, with the remote, uh, sorry, with the Mini 4 Pro on, hold that for four seconds. There you go, and you can see that is now in pairing mode as well. There you go, they both found each other. You can just watch the remote, bang, there you go, all ready to go. Now another way to get to that pairing screen is to simply tap camera view, uh, top right, which takes you into a blank camera view, but crucially it lets you tap the three dots top right, then tap control, scroll down and tap the pairing link uh, word on screen again. Exactly the same result. Press and hold the power button on the Mini 4 uh, for four seconds and both are going to get into pairing mode. That's all there is to it. Now the next time you power on the remote it is going to search for the last model that it was connected to. So if I now wanted to use this remote to go back to controlling the Air 3, I'm just going to have to tap that connection guide again, scroll across to the Air 3 picture, let it switch firmware, which will still only take a second or two, and then it's gonna to connect to the Air 3 as normal. And that is how you swap between models using the same remote. So, there you go, that's all there is to it. And as you can probably tell by all the little stickers on here, uh, I'm actually filming this video before I have even flown the Mini 4 Pro. So I wanna get this up in the air and start putting it through its paces. So on that, uh, click the little thumbs up for me to help the video along. Until next time, have fun, happy flying.